Are you a retiree looking to boost your income without touching your capital? Well, you're not alone. With inflation on the rise, investing for income has become a popular strategy for many. And today, we're going to help Stephen, a 73-year-old with a £360,000 portfolio, find ways to maximize his income while minimizing capital loss. First off, Stephen has already made some smart investment choices. His income maximizer funds from Schroders are yielding 8.1% and 7.5%, which is impressive. However, it's important to understand the risks associated with these funds, as derivatives can be complex and high risk. To add more income and resilience to his portfolio, Stephen could consider adding high-quality bonds. With interest rates on the rise, bond yields have also increased. Funds like PIMCO's GIS Global Investment Grade Credit Fund could be worth a closer look, offering a yield of 4.15% and owning high-quality corporate bonds from around the world. Next, let's address Stephen's portfolio diversification. He's heavily invested in the UK and Asia but has very little exposure to the United States, which has been the best-performing stock market in recent years. Adding a dedicated US fund, such as Vanguard's FTSE All World High Dividend Yield USITS ETF, could provide growth and diversification. If Stephen is comfortable with it, he could also consider adding Imperial brands to his portfolio, alongside British American Tobacco. Imperial Brands has performed better than its rival this year, although it's worth noting the potential for further regulation around e-cigarettes. In terms of UK financials, strong yielders like MNG and NatWest could be worth considering, given the end of rock-bottom interest rates and the potential for higher yields. And if Stephen prefers a more passive approach, he could consider a tracker fund like the Vanguard FTSE UK Equity Income Index which yields about 5.5% and is less volatile than individual shares. Finally, it's important to acknowledge that there's no such thing as a risk-free investment. While we can make adjustments to Stephen's portfolio to offset some risks, it's crucial for him to consider his own tolerance for potential losses. So, Stephen, with a few tweaks to your portfolio, you can increase your income while managing risk. Just remember to do your own research and consider your personal circumstances. And most importantly, enjoy your retirement and the fruits of your hard-earned investments. Cheers to that!